Mariano Rivera would be signed out of Panama to a minor league deal for the New York Yankees when he was only 21. Rivera would fly through low A and find himself in high A within a season. He would pitch to a 2.2 ADRA before suffering an injury to his UCL which would end Rivera's season. Rivera would come back and pitch to a 2.0 AERA. At the beginning of the 1994 season, Rivera seemed to have no future within the Yankees organization until he shot his way up the ranks into AA in June of that year and would eventually even be called to AAA in that July. Rivera would finish the season with a 3.09 ERA but struggled in his first starts in AAA posting a 5.8 ERA in only 6 starts. Rivera would start the 1995 season ranked as the number 9 prospect in the Yankee system. In a matter of a season, Rivera had defied the odds of the public and had shown potential and the ability to pitch in the big leagues. Rivera would get called up on May 16, 1995 after he posted a 1.5 ERA and 4 starts in AAA. Rivera would make his debut on May 23rd against the California Angels. Rivera would allow 5 earned runs in only 3 and a third innings. He struggled in his next 4 starts as he posted a 10.2 ERA and found himself sent back down to AAA on June 11th. A pitcher who didn't pitch well at the major league level and was only three years removed from a major arm injury, the Yankees started to look to trade Rivera. During this time, Rivera would make a start on June 26th where his velocity numbers would jump 6 miles per hour higher than they ever had before. Rivera would find himself throwing upper 90s instead of his usual low 90s and upper 80s. Rivera attributed this sudden gift that he received to God. Rivera would be called back up to the major league level and made another start on July 4th. In this start, he would pitch 8 scoreless innings allowing just 2 hits and strike out 11 batters. It seemed Rivera had finally reached his potential, but following a rocky 5 starts, he would briefly find himself sent back down to AAA that August. Rivera would get called back up in September and only have one more start before the Yankees made the decision to send him to the bullpen. Rivera would finish the season with a 5.51 ERA and 10 starts and 9 relief appearances. Rivera would come out of the bullpen in the ALDS and pitch 5 and a third scoreless innings and a relief appearance. This is when Yankees management decided his best role was to come out of the bullpen. Before the 1996 season, Rivera found himself on the trade block again but ultimately would stay on the Yankees roster. Rivera would be used as a setup man for the Yankees closer John Wedelin. With this duo, the Yankees would win 70 of 73 games when leading after the 6th inning. During this stretch, Rivera pitched 26 scoreless innings between April 19th and May 21st. During the streak, Rivera would get his first career save on May 17th versus the Angels. Rivera would finish the season with a 2.09 ERA in 108 innings while setting a Yankees record for strikeouts by a reliever with 130. In the postseason, Rivera would pitch 14 and third innings and allow one earned run through this stretch, eventually leading the Yankees to a World Series victory. Rivera would receive MVP and Cy Young votes for this performance. In the offseason, the Yankees would not resign Wedeland and give the closer role to Rivera instead. This decision was questioned to begin the season following Rivera blowing three of his first six save opportunities and telling management that he was uncomfortable in the closer role. Following this, Rivera would settle into the role and post a 1.96 ERA with 27 saves, earning his first all-star selection of his career. During this time, Rivera would learn how to throw his infamous cut fastball. He claims this was a completely by mistake and also accompanied this to God. Rivera would finish the season with 43 saves and a 1.88 ERA. Rivera would make an appearance in Game 4 of the ALDS against the Cleveland Indians. During the 8th inning of this appearance, Rivera would give up a game-tying home run. The Yankees would go on to lose and get eliminated from the postseason. Rivera would start the 1998 season injured, but would come back and end the season with 36 saves and a 1.91 ERA. Rivera would pitch 13 scoreless innings and earn 6 saves including 3 in the World Series, including the final game leading to another Yankees World Series, the second of Rivera's career. In 1990, he would be selected for his second All-Star game following his 2.29 ERA and 23 saves at the All-Star break. Rivera would end the season with a 1.83 ERA and 45 saves. Rivera would receive the AL Relief Pitcher of the Year award for his efforts. Rivera would finish his fantastic season off by propelling the Yankees to another World Series win. Rivera would earn another All-Star appearance in 2000 and would finish the season with a 2.85 ERA and 36 saves. Rivera would get 6 saves and break Dennis Eckersley's record for most saves in the postseason, and Whitey Ford's record for consecutive scoreless innings in the postseason. The Yankees would clinch the 3 peat behind another Rivera save over the Mets. In the offseason, Rivera would sign a 4-year $40 million extension and was set to take place after the 2001 season. Rivera would finish the season with a 2.34 ERA and 50 saves during another Yankees postseason run. Rivera would finish the season with a 2.34 ERA and 50 saves. During another Yankees postseason run, Rivera would have his biggest failure of his career happen in Game 7 of the World Series.
This would be one of the most infamous moments of Rivera's career. The 2002 season, Rivera would pass Dave Rigetti for the Yankees franchise leader in saves. Through this season, Rivera would sustain a plethora of injuries, and in the 2003 season, Yankees manager Joe Torre would reduce Rivera's workload to try to reduce injuries, but he would continue to sustain them. During the postseason, Rivera would enter the ALCS against the Boston Red Sox. Rivera would enter the ninth inning tied 5-5. Rivera would go on to pitch three scoreless innings and clinch a spot for the Yankees in the 2003 World Series. Yankees would go on to lose that World Series. On May 28, 2004, Rivera would earn his 300 save, becoming only the 18th player to do so. Rivera would finish the year with a 1.94 ERA and a career-high 53 saves. In the postseason, despite the Yankees being up 3-0, the Yankees would lose in the ALCS versus the Red Sox. Rivera would also blow saves in games 4 and 5. Rivera began the 2005 season dealing with an elbow injury and would blow his first two save appearances. Rivera began to be booed during appearances at Yankee Stadium, but he would bounce back and finish the season with 43 saves and a career best ERA at 1.38. Rivera would begin the 2006 season with two blown saves and a 3.37 ERA, but would once again bounce back and end the season with 34 saves and a 1.8 ERA. Rivera would record his 425th save during his 2007 season, but would finish the year with his worst ERA as a closer with a 3.15 ERA and only 30 saves. The Yankees would lose the wild card that year as well. Rivera would bounce back in 2008, finishing with a 1.4 ERA and 39 saves. Despite having one of the best years of his career, the Yankees would miss the playoffs for the first time of his career. In the beginning of the 2009 season, Rivera's first 12 appearances would start with a 3.97 ERA, leading to a speculation about Rivera's effectiveness. He would improve as the season went on and would become the second player ever to record 500 saves. He would finish the season with a 1.76 ERA and 44 saves. He had pitched 16 innings, allowing only one run and recording 5 saves, leading to his 5th World Series victory. Rivera would come back in 2010 and have a great season ending the year with a 1.8 ERA and 33 saves. In the postseason, he would pitch 6 scoreless innings and earn 3 saves. In the offseason, Trevor Hoffman retired as the regular season save leader with 601 saves, leaving Rivera to catch him. On September 13th of the 2011 season, Rivera would earn his 600th save. Four days later, he would tie Hoffman at 601. Rivera would go back to Yankee Stadium and break the record on September 19th. Rivera would finish this season with a 1.91 ERA and 44 saves. Rivera would enter the 2012 season with a blown save followed by 5 consecutive saves, but Rivera's season would be ended by a freak injury on May 3rd before a game versus the Royals. Rivera was in the outfield shagging balls during batting practice when his right knee buckled and Rivera would tear his ACL. Many thought this would end his career, but Rivera would announce he would come back for one final season. Many teams would begin to honor Rivera, such as the Minnesota Twins gifting Rivera a rocking chair made of bats broken by Rivera's cutter. He would be named an All-Star for the final time of his career, ending his total at 13 selections. During his 8th inning appearance, fans and players would give Rivera a standing ovation. Rivera would retire the side, which kept his All-Star game ERA at 0. Rivera would slow down in his final months of his career and even blew 3 consecutive saves for the first time in his career. On September 22, 2013, the Yankees would hold a 15-minute tribute pre-game to honor Rivera. His number 42 was retired. Metallica even performed his infamous entrance song, Enter Sandman, during pre-game festivities. And several gifts were given to Rivera. Four days later, he would pitch in his final game, being taken out in the ninth inning with two outs. Rivera would finish his final season with a 2.11 ERA. Rivera was a signee out of Panama who was a raw prospect. Rivera was seen as a guy who may never reach the big leagues. When he did, he was seemingly a below average player. When he failed in the role he was given, after being shifted to the bullpen and learning how to throw his infamous cut fastball, Rivera became the greatest closer there ever was. He proved that despite the odds, despite the doubters, despite how hard it may be, anything is possible.
just perfection. Wow. Tears and cheers. That gentleman didn't think he was going to get emotional when he saw Andy Pettit and Derek Jeter come to get him. Everything came to the surface, Kenny. Yeah, it did. He saved more games for Pettit than any other any other pitcher. I know this. He's going to be one tough act to follow. <laughs> 